three investors pain generally that they face in the Dubai market. And I'm gonna give you remedies to all three of them. Look, if you want an expert team of advisors to help you, guide you, buy a good property in Dubai, hit the link below. Let's talk, see if we are a good fit for each other. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. Show some love in the comment section, okay. Number one pain that I've seen in the last 15 years that investors face in the Dubai market it there is that there are big promises made and then there's under delivery, okay? Prime example, uh, I'm not gonna name the developer here, but a developer promised a tennis court in the development and then lo and behold, they did actually deliver a tennis court. The only difference is that if a tennis court is this as in regular size, their tennis court was delivered as in like this. Because you could actually put you could actually put a net even in here and then people could, instead of playing paddle, could play tan tennis, right? All they had to do was in the marketing material, say mini tennis court. So in my personal opinion, marketing materials, when you're looking at them, take them with a pinch of salt, okay? So if they are promising you 10 amenities, minus from them three, are you happy with the seven? that you think that they might deliver, okay? So whatever a developer tells you to deliver, if it's not the top tier developers, minus 30 or 40% of the amenities and then see if you'd be still happy with 70%, okay? After sales support in the Dubai market, in a lot of times it's zero, okay? Especially if you're buying off plan, you've got to do a lot of things, okay? So you've got to do a booking form, the SBA, registration. Somebody's got to chase up on all the receipts for you. But after sales support is zero because agents generally only care about the sale, okay? Now you can't blame them, but it is not very healthy working with an agent that doesn't have a full team behind them to support the end goal, which is a seamless process of investment for you without any risks, okay? Because any receipt missing here, especially now when the market's very hot and developers are dealing with a lot of clients and customers and you know mistakes get happen, mistakes get made, you're gonna be in a little bit of a jiffy. So you want somebody who can give you after sales support. Now, if there's zero, you're looking for somebody who can provide you at 100% after sales support. Last but not the least, not understanding the market properly. And here's the kicker, being pushed. Being pushed, right? I'll give you an example. Sangha, are you in the market to buy anything? What are you looking to buy? Camera, shoes, a watch? What are you trying to buy? A watch, shoes, or which one? Camera. A camera, okay. Now, Here's the thing, okay? We can't give you Sangha's example because Sangha is an expert camera person. So he's an expert. If he goes into the market, he's going to know what he's looking to buy. But let's say if he goes to a pushy salesman, right? And okay, I've got this camera, okay? All right, okay, let's present that. Let's, let's pretend this is that camera, okay? Sangha comes, asks me, and now I start, he, I have the camera he asked me about, and now I start telling, Sangha, would you like to buy it today? No, you want to think about it. Yes. This is the last one I have. You still want to think about it? Yes. Listen, after this is sold, we don't know when the next shipment is coming. It could be six months. Do you want to buy? Uh, Play the game. Keep saying no. Well, I'm going to push you, okay? Do you want to buy it? No. Listen, there's somebody who came in the morning and they already expressed interest on buying this. So I'm pretty sure tomorrow if you come, it's going to be gone. Sony, which one are you gonna buy, Sony? Sony? Sony's never gonna produce this camera again because why? The Sony CEO has changed and he's said, and he's given specific instructions to dumb down the lenses and all the cameras. So actually quality is not gonna be enhanced in the next model, it's actually gonna go down. You wanna buy? The next waiting line is gonna be seven years, like seven years. <laughs> do you see pushy, 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 right? What do you wanna do? You wanna buy or walk away? Walk away, right? Guys, listen, not understanding the market is your responsibility as much as it is the agents, okay? Because pushy agents exist, pushy people exist, pushy salespeople exist, right? 
it's your responsibility to take a break, breathe and say, listen, I want to think about this. I want to understand this a little bit more. Perhaps work with an expert advisor. Look, there is a link below. Hit it, click it, let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. And obviously, show some love in the comment section. The idea thing, the main thing is big promises do get made. Do your analysis, right? Marketing is a culprit, but RERA, which is the real estate regulatory agency, holds developers that the collateral published must be real today, okay? You can't say we're providing you with the Taj Mahal and then not deliver it, okay? The after sales support, just work with somebody who can deliver the after sales support. Not understanding the market and being pushed by the agents to make a quick decision. What do you need to do? You've got to actually grow up and do the research yourself. Make sense? Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.